A Wisconsin car dealership employee was killed and a former customer was arrested on a homicide charge. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. One thing you'll never hear us advocating for is that a car buyer should take matters into their own hands and go back to the dealership to even the score, especially not with a gun. I wouldn't have guessed that we'd be talking about a car salesman getting shot today. No, definitely not. That was just posted on March 23rd. Law enforcement in South Central Wisconsin is investigating a homicide where a former customer allegedly shot and killed an employee, apparently her salesman, at a car dealership. According to the Middleton Police Department, the incident happened around 1.35 p.m. on March 20th at the MSI Auto Sales location in Middleton. When officers arrived at the car dealership on Parmenter Street, a man was found with a gunshot wound. He was transported to a local hospital where he later died as a result of his injuries, officers say. Officers immediately began a homicide investigation, stating that the suspect was a woman who was known to the business and was a former customer. The release states that the incident began with an argument due to a dispute over a previous vehicle purchase. The suspect, identified by the Middleton Police Department as Jakira T. Anderson, was located shortly before 3.30 p.m. and was later arrested by the Madison Police Department without incident. Anderson, a 23-year-old from Fitchburg, was booked into the Dane County Jail on a tentative charge of first-degree intentional homicide. Captain Travis Kakaski from Middleton Police Department gave this statement. We'd like to thank our partners at the Fitchburg Police Department for their assistance during the early stages of the investigation, as well as the Madison Police Department for helping us quickly locate and arrest the suspect and provide other resources. This investigation is still ongoing, and any witnesses are asked to call the Middleton Police Department at 608-824-7300, Madison Area Crime Stoppers at 608 608- 266-6014 or on the web to p3tips.com. So if you happen to live in the area and have any information regarding this tragic crime, contact the local police at the numbers appearing on the screen or visit the website seen here. This is an ongoing investigation and no additional details have been released at this time. It was a short show today, friends. Remember, if you have a complaint about how you were treated at a car dealership, you have so many options to do that don't include going back to the dealership with a gun like this person did. Yes, do not go to a dealership with a gun. Definitely not. If you have a complaint, you can contact your local police. We've seen too many reports to mention of local police getting involved in investigating a car dealership with regard to car dealer mistreatment and fraud. The Attorney General's office is another great resource to file a complaint with. Tons of stories are cropping up right now regarding state AG's offices investigating and suing dealerships. And an FTC complaint is also widely known to get good results. That's right. You can also contact a consumer protection attorney in your state, describe what happened to you, and see if they'll take your case. These attorneys are paid by the offending party, in this case, the dealerships. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel and you don't want to miss our upcoming shows, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. No guns involved. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.